Right, um, I thought I'd do a quick video on uh, my Raspberry Pi, or one of my Raspberry Pis, should I say really. Um, currently I have uh, two Raspberry Pis that I use on uh, sort of a daily basis really. Um, the first one I use is for work stuff, um, and the other one is for watching uh, movies, um, sports, um, sometimes even turn into a little karaoke machine, um, stuff like that really some cool stuff. Um, so I thought I'd kind of take you through it, to be honest, because there's a lot of hype on the internet about the Raspberry Pis and what it can do um, and stuff like that. So uh, I thought I'd give you a quick five minutes of my time and show you what it's all about. What I'm running on one of my um, Raspberry Pis is XBMC, which is the uh, media platform used uh, on the jailbroken Apple TV. Basically, it gives you access to watch other media content on the Apple TV um, and also um, different kind of formats. Um, so I'll show you some benefits in a minute of what you can do uh, with it. Um, like I mentioned before, you can watch films and stuff like that. Um, but let me just give you a quick uh, show of the Raspberry Pi if you can see it. It's basically um, a credit card sized device. I've got mine wrapped in a nice little box. Um, on one side you've got a HDMI, uh, one side you've got the power outlet and the SD card holder, which is where you uh, um, plug in the SD card for um, the use on your Pi. So that's where it runs from your SD card. Uh, the other side, you've got an audio, audio, or oh, sorry, audio output and a VCA output. And lastly, on the last side, you've got an Ethernet hardwire and two Ethan, uh, sorry, two USB ports. These two USB ports can be uh, used for a mouse or a keyboard if you want to control this by that, which you can do. It's not a problem. I prefer to use my iPhone, iPad, something like that. So currently I've got my mini iPad and as you can see it's got the XPMC remote control app which is free on the App Store and basically you can see it looks like a uh, basic remote control you get with a TV uh, nowadays so nothing really complicated about that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll load a couple of things on here just to show you guys. I haven't maxed it out which I normally do with my Raspberry Pis and also my Apple TVs. I've just added a little few things to show you guys what's capable. So when you turn your Raspberry Pi on, you notice at the beginning of, of the uh, video, uh, a big R comes up. Basically it's um, loading up, uh, it's connecting to your Wi-Fi or your broadband or something like that, um, if you're hardwired, and it's just set itself up basically. And then you come to this screen, which is the XBMC home screen. Here's where you choose to go uh, on XBMC, where you're going to go to videos, uh, music, programs. Uh, system is basically for all the stuff behind the scenes, not something you really want to go into if you're not used to using XPMC. So it's programs, music, videos, pictures and weather are your main ones you want to navigate around. So um, let's not hang about. Um, so say you wanted to watch um, a film that's come out of the cinema. Uh, head over to videos. Uh, again I've only added a couple of things on here but I normally max it out there's normally loads but um, let's go to mashup which is kind of a cool add-on. Um, the thing with my add-ons I feel is that I've actually got a nice bunch of add-ons that I keep an eye on uh, that I know are working all the time and um, I've got really good backers behind it um, so I always get a good stream and if they're down they normally back up within about half an hour depending on obviously the time zones if obviously that person or that team were asleep obviously they're not going to be up into the morning but basically um, this is one of the add-ons I've added on to uh, the Raspberry Pi and here you'll get um, a lot of uh, icons pop up um, to basically say, you know, where do you want to, what do you want to watch? Um, do you want to watch sport, football, you know, TV, uh, movies, stuff like that. So as I mentioned before, I said to you about uh, the latest films. So if we get, navigate up and go to Featured, um, just wait for that to load. Um, this is where all the sort of new released films are played. Uh, but again, as you can see on the far left hand corner, it says latest, they're the latest uh, movies um, that are entered onto this add-on. So, basically that's it. Uh, when you go onto one of these plugins, uh, when you go onto sorry, one of these icons, it will come up with this message. It's basically loading up all the content in that icon, basically. And so you've got, you get a smooth uh, running through that. Um, every time you go into uh, one of these um, icons, it will do this, first of all. But again, when you go back in there the next day, uh, if there's nothing new in there, it'll just pop straight in there, but basically it's updating itself within. 
it normally takes around about two minutes or so like that. Um, I say this is one of the add-ons I want to show you that uh, you can have in a Raspberry Pi. Um, I'll show you another one where you can watch live sports, uh, whether it's your Premiership football on a Saturday. I know the league's coming to an end now, but you know, ready for next season. Um, if you want to watch rugby, ice hockey, cricket, golf, uh, you name it, uh, it's on there. And also I'll show you another um, program that's on here called NaviX, which is a multi-function platform, kind of like XBMC, but um, it's got a broader a range on just one platform. Rather than have all these video, different videos, uh, contents on XBMC on videos, in NaviX it's all bunched in there basically. So you can just search through there, and again there's a probably... I don't know, a million films on there and, you know, again, with other content and stuff like that. Um, so it's really worth um, just holding on for a few minutes and I'll show you guys. Um, I've clicked on the wrong one. This is the, um, um, this is the most viewed, I believe. So let's try and go back. And, prom and I'll say, I promised you guys to look at the featured. So we'll go across and go into featured. Uh, one of the, what's one of the best things also about the Raspberry Pi is that, as I mentioned before, if you're going around anywhere or out and about, it will fit in your pocket. You don't got to worry about you know carrying around a big device. It weighs ne next to nothing, um, so it's really handy. So now we're on the most um, sorry on the featured uh, section, you can scroll across and you can see some of these films are uh, pretty new, uh, still in the cinema, some of them, and also some of them haven't come out on DVD yet. Um, so we'll search for this, pick a popular one. There we go, Iron Man 3. I, I believe that's still in the cinema at the moment. Uh, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen number two yet. So um, we'll go open this up and uh, have a look at this one. Like I said, the list goes on. Depending on how many new release films are, um, you know, it could be 50, 60 of them. So you can scroll through them all and, uh, and choose which one you want. Now here is where you find all the links to watch it from. Uh, on the left-hand side will be the uh, name. In the middle will be the uh, viewing, whether it's DVD, TS, CAM, it depends on obviously the uh, viewing content. This one says DVD, so it's going to be a DVD quality. Yes, you may be thinking, hang on a minute, how can it be on DVD quality if um, it's in only in the cinema? Well, um, trust me, it is. Um, so it will depend on what um, viewing you want to watch, you watch it on. And on the right hand side, it tells you what server it's actually on. So we'll, we'll click the top one because put lock is pretty decent. Um, uh, file sharing site and it's pretty uh, speedy so we'll click on that again depending on your network speed internet uh, depending on how fast it loads um, so when you go to the next page we'll give you it'll narrow it down to three uh, put locker uh, ones that are on at the moment uh, so let's go, down, let's go to the top one here as well click in the middle for OK Again, sorry guys, I'm, I'm, I'm using, I'm hitting the XBMC middle bit inside the remote. As you can see, it's starting to play. And I'll turn the uh, sound up so you guys can hear it. Who said that? What does that even mean? Doesn't matter. I said it because you said it. Doesn't matter. People saying this on their face. So as you can see, guys, that's uh, Iron Man 3 running again on your Raspberry Pi. This little device I've just shown you. So uh, we'll stop that, and again we'll just use the uh, back arrow on the uh, remote. Again, if you're using the mouse or keyboard, on a keyboard just press escape uh, and it will bring you back to the beginning. And on your mouse again you can hit the top right hand corner on these, or the bottom right hand side is an arrow facing to your left, just hit those and again they'll take you back to the, uh, the beginning. So we'll come right out of there now. Uh, next one I'm going to is Sports Devil, probably one of my favourite add-ons, even on Apple TVs. I just think this is brilliant. Again, if you're into a sports, and I say any sports, this will have it on there. Um, currently, it's, I believe it's around about quarter past six UK time at the moment. So I don't think there's any live sports on at the moment in, uh, in this country, but I'll try and find something live somewhere else. So basically, you want to scroll down to live sports. Again, you can go onto blogs and highlights, but you know, for this purpose of this video, I just want to show you a quick demonstration uh, on what can be achieved. Again, there's much more that can be, but I just want to keep it nice and short if I can. So, um, these are your sites where you can watch the sports. My favourite 
is first row sports. Again, you can use any of those and it'll open up the same sort of thing. And now you'll see the choice of sports you uh, can uh, watch. Like I say, the other sort of sites that were shown on the previous page does the same thing, but I believe that First Row Sports has the best links and are always spot on. So you can scroll down, um, you know, and it, it just goes on basically. Um, you can go to others, say you've got golf, rugby, motorsport, stuff like that. So let's try tennis, because I believe there's some tennis on somewhere. So let's click on that. So if there's a tennis game on Sky Sports 1, for instance, and you guys haven't got Sky Sports 1, um, you know, this will dig you out of that hole basically. Um, and again, uh, Saturday's Premiership Football, this is the place to be again if you haven't got Sky Sports. But even on Saturday at 3 o'clock, even the games that are not viewed on UK TV, you can view them on here. So anyway, as you can see, there's a bit of um, tennis going on. Um, so I think, let's go to the top one, which is Rome, I believe, some tennis is on there. We'll try that link. Again, any of these links that don't work will come up saying like, um, you know, no link currently available. So you can go down to the next link and the next link um, to find one. There's always a link that works. It's just, again, finding the right one. Um, like I say, you can see that Ferreira versus Bodicasso, there's actually uh, six links for that game. So if this link doesn't work, we'll hit down there and uh, choose one of those links. But it's, it's good for you guys to see this, that if you do come across a link and it doesn't work, don't panic. And you know, don't you know, start shouting, raving and shouting, oh, this is crap and all that sort of stuff. It's, it's just the link's just broken, basically. And um, you just need to choose another one. So after this, uh, while it's loading, after this, um, I don't know, I'll show you. I'll take you over to NaviX and we'll just do a quick uh, two-minute scour through that. Because that's got you know, such a lot of media content, it's unbelievable. Basically, um, if you want about uh, price on these pies, um, it ranges basically. You can get the pies from uh, just buying the basic pie without any of that stuff um, for about thirty pounds up to about forty pounds. But then you need to start thinking about power supply, um, the right um, Wi-Fi dongle. So only certain Wi-Fi dongles work for it. Um, the leads, the case, and also this media content and stuff like that added on. So you know, for 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 the money, it's not it's not too bad. But you need to make sure you find someone who's very knowledgeable about XBMC because it can be an issue where, um, you know, you, you you buy it from someone or you get it from someone and they've installed something that's totally wrong that shouldn't be in that right place and could corrupt the SD card and therefore it will not work. So pay that extra bit of money uh, from a professional person who knows about XBMC um, to make sure you get you know to make sure you get the right product. So as you can see, it's loaded up another page. And this is where you go to the player, and we'll hit uh, OK again, and uh, hopefully we'll get this uh, this link up and running. It doesn't normally take this long, to be honest. I believe it's because my uh, internet speed is a bit lagging at the moment, because I've got quite a few things uh, running at the same time as this. Um, but yeah, going back to the Raspberry Pi price, yeah, pay that little bit extra, or ask around with your mates if anyone knows, you know, about XBMC. Um, and stuff like that because I've seen in the past where people have bought cheap and uh, they're wondering why certain links don't work and stuff like that. So as you can see on the bottom left hand corner you've got now a little play button um, in the case it's starting to play and as you can see guys you've got uh, the tennis which is live um, and uh, again you can just guys can sit back and watch this. So let's quickly, sorry about this but we've got to quickly move on uh, so we'll stop that and we want to come back out again so that was two sort of like plugins that are under videos that I kind of use but normally this page is full to the brim I'm talking there's probably about 50 60 icons in there with different content you can watch ranging from you know old s programs like you know EastEnders or like Casual Eva Bill and BBC iPlayer, ITV Player, 4 On Demand, 5 On Demand, uh, Film One, lo loads and loads of stuff and it'll be spot for choice basically. So, um, over to, to programs is my uh, the last one. Now, the X, um, uh, the bottom two are just for the settings, so there's not really much uh, point talking about those. Go into the portal. I always go down to the bottom left hand corner, which is most viewed in 24 hours. If you go to the other ones, like most viewed in seven days, you get like a weird list of like every media content. This is not videos, this is media. So, it could be, um, say, uh, music shoots. Um, programs, but I'm talking about programs and media shoots around the world. This is just not in the UK, it's, it's worldwide. 
So the last 24 hours kind of breaks it down anyway. So you go into that. And again, here, like I said before, in Navix, they've got a massive media content of varied stuff. You know, movies, sports, uh, adult content, live channels. Um, yeah, again, basically uh, uh, loads and loads. So again, you can just scroll down, keep going to the bottom. Again, you've got uh, X Media, HD Movies Only, Sports, Discovery. Again, this one claims it's got 6,700 plus movies, which um, I'll tell you now it has. Um, again, and you can go to the next page, and there's next page, and next page, and next page, and there's just loads. So say if you want to pick on one of these, uh, let's go to Max Power, because this guy's spot on. He's got some wicked movies, great content, great speeds, uh, great quality as well. Um, and we'll go and look at his movies. Um, another thing is, the reason why um, they're in this order is that the best are at the top, basically. If you want to watch something and you want to watch the best, stick to the top. Like I say, feel free to scroll through the rest of them. Click on them, you might find something really cool that I don't know. Again, guys, this is this is uh, very time consuming and I don't have that much time to uh, sit around and you know go through every single one. So let's go to Max Power. Let's go on to his programs, and now you'll see at the top there's 12198 of 334. So, yes, there's a lot of movies on here. So anyway, let's um, let's go on to a good day to die hard, the top one, I suppose. This was added yesterday, as you can see on the right-hand side. And we'll click uh, OK, or we'll click the XBMC Media button, and as you'll see, it's picking up the link. Pick up stream and you should be able to play it soon. Again, it all depends on your uh, um, internet or Wi Fi connection. This one doesn't seem to be uh, working properly at the moment, so what we should scroll down to another one. Let's click on, it's got another. Iron Man there, but again, this guy's got loads. What about yeah, Dan Go Unchanged, 720p? So let's click on that one. And as you can see, guys, as, as I said, Max Power's got some wicked content, great speeds. Again, that, that first one I clicked on may be broken, but again, you'll he'll, he'll get that fixed within an hour or two. Um, I'm in contact with him all the time as well, so. I can send him a message just to say look, that one's down. But as you can see, guys, um, this is Dango on Change 720p on your TV, running through your Raspberry Pi um, internet connection. There is nothing else to it. That is it, basically. So um, I don't want to give too much away. So all you guys to try it out yourself. So we'll stop that, and we will go back to the start. And that's it, really, guys. Um, that is um, the Raspberry Pi. Well, one of my rides with high, should I say, running next BMC. Um, it's, it's, it's a great little gadget. Um, and uh, the best thing probably about rides with Pi against the Apple TVs too is that the Apple TV 2 jailbreak ones are roughly about 200 to 250 English pounds. And um, these ones are a lot cheaper than that. Um, and also with, with Apple TV jailbroken, you always get the issue of, oh, I'm, I may have updated the software by accident, therefore you lose the jailbreak, and you lose this jailbreak content. Um, but with a Raspberry Pi, um, basically, there is nothing to update, basically, because it's all there, there's no other programs to choose from, uh, and basically, any updates that come within XBMC are automatic, so you guys haven't got to worry about anything. Um, whereas, oh, I've got to go to the settings to... Um, update this because this one doesn't work it does it all automatically so when sometimes you turn it back on and you have the red R comes up on and it takes about two minutes to load up this page in the bottom right hand corner you may have some pop-ups just saying uh, you know like mashup updated or Navix has been updated or stuff like that so it's nothing to really worry about uh, and that's it guys it's something to uh, really think about and uh, a great alternative to the jailbroken Apple TV